Oh, they're comfy, they're grippy. Let's see. Yep, see? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another vloggy vlog. This one is a motorcycle unboxing. As you guys know, uh, I ride year round here in New York City. I ride all season. I ride in cold, wet, freezing weather, below freezing. I even ride in the snow sometimes. So I do require some uh, heated gear to make that happen. And that's where Iron Gius um, just sent me a pair of gloves to try out. So in this video, I'm going to unbox them, unbag them and then go for a ride and test them out really quick and see what I think about them. So this company, RNGS, they are from China. They've been around since 2015. And when they reached out, I said, of course, give it a shot because I do have a pair of heated gloves already. And uh, I'm curious to see how these compare to a, a much more expensive model because these retail for between uh, 130 and 80 dollars uh online and obviously there's going to be uh, a link in the description below of this video so you can get your own but um yeah i'm curious to see how these do against the competition so first and foremost let's open these babies up and see what's inside the package so and the beauty of these gloves is that not only are they battery operated, they are also wired. So you could uh, wire these. All right, let me have a little bit of coffee. Mm, beautiful. So let's get this started. So it's a beautiful, nice bag. And it's actually a repurposed bag, recycled. So it's kind of handy to keep these um, in there. And before we start messing with the actual gloves, let's take a look at the batteries and the charger. I presume that they probably come with a little bit of charge. So, a nice little bag. Um, now we got the charger. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Got two batteries. These are 7.4 volt. Let's see. Just clip it in there. Yep. These are 7.4 volt batteries. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. There's two of them. And then, like I said, you could wire it up to your bike. You can wire it up to your main battery and the way it could last longer because these uh, gloves actually last for four and a half hours on the highest setting and eight and a half hours on the lowest setting. And I believe the highest setting is 140 Fahrenheit. The lowest is 120. Um, okay, all right, so we got the... We got the batteries, we got the charger, set them aside, and then we got here, oh, all right, so we got a bunch of, uh, we got a piece of paper, and we got some, uh, we got like a little measuring stick, your body or soul must be on the way, cool, um, nice, oh, that's cute, cute little logo, I like that. Maybe that will be the thumbnail. There we go. Um, cute. RNGS. These guys seem really nice um, and excited about the brand. They also have uh, a lot of other stuff besides gloves in their, in their store. They have some helmets. They got some jackets. They got some uh, shoes. They also have some um, other items. But... Let's check out the party piece. Let's check out the actual glove. Oh, they're clipped together here, it seems. So there they are. And look at this, um, 3M. So they're waterproof, woodproof, all of that. Let's pop this baby on and see how it feels. Fit is actually really, really nice. And uh, you got the hard knuckles. I like some are hard, they look a little bit rubbery. Um, and then you got a soft palm slider and uh, some protection here on the fingers. And it all seems softer, but it doesn't seem any less protective than my other pair that is substantially more money. Hmm. I wonder how these actually perform. And uh, I read some of the reviews online 
and uh, people seem to be happy with them. But one thing that's unrelated to these gloves that I have to absolutely mention, some of these reviews for the heated gloves are straight up ridiculous. People are wearing heated gloves at 55 and 60 degrees. So anyway, if you need a glove at 60 degrees, you're in trouble. I mean, heated glove. So let's uh, put the battery in and uh, see how they fire up. There we go. Beautiful. So, zip it up and you hold this button for three seconds. There it is. So that's the highest setting. Yeah, white setting is I think standby maybe, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that's the hottest, medium, lowest. Cool. So I'm gonna put this on. And uh, I'm actually going to get on my bike and go for a little ride right after I'm done here. All right, so let's do the dexterity test, the, the how comfy they are to operate, because that's one thing about heated gloves. They are bulky. If you've never ridden with heated gloves before, you might find yourself uh, a little bit frustrated at first or you know, alarmed at the lack of control because they are bulky and compared to regular motorcycle gloves, th there's lack of feel of controls, but I'm telling you, these feel good. And after, literally after riding for like 20 minutes, you're not even gonna feel the bulkness of these, but I'm actually looking forward to testing these out because, oh, there we go. Boom, boom, both on. And one beautiful thing about these gloves, I can tell right away, I can feel the, the elements because the elements are on top of your hand, right? Because down here, you don't really need to heat up because you're holding the bars and presuming you, if you really care that much, you're gonna have heated grips as well. But you can feel the backs of your hands immediately get warmer. This is kind of awesome. I'm impressed so far. So, yeah, very good. All right, so let me get geared up, go to the bike, and go for a little cruise and see how these feel on winter New York City streets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. I am on my bike and we are cruising. New York City is happening to go through a, a warm spell right now where it's actually end of November but also uh, mid 40s as you could tell some of the people in New York you know dress down a little bit so let's see how these feel I mean from initial impression they fit well you know and uh, I'm also used to uh, bulky uh, heated gloves already so to me it's not like a, a big adjustment uh, as far as uh, the size of them goes I was hoping to uh, be able to get on uh, the highway and uh, see how they feel. I have them going on uh, the hottest setting, which is, uh, you know, the full blast. So, yep. Beautiful. We'll see how they feel. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, obviously, um, uh, it's hard to give a first impression about an item such as heated gloves without using it for a while, you know? Because, like, I would imagine uh, one would be more interested in my uh, commentary if I rode in a couple of freezing, freezing days. But unfortunately, at the moment, the temperature is not cooperating. But we'll still go on a highway. There we go. Get on the highway for one exit. 
to get some wind in these puppies. I mean, so far, I'm not cold whatsoever. But I also have a higher tolerance for coldness than other people. I can tell you because the thing is uh, I've been riding in freezing temperatures for so long where I have this test that I do to myself uh, as soon as I pull out on my bike and if within the first uh, a couple seconds I'm cold in any way I know I'm gonna be in trouble but in this case I'm not cold whatsoever so we're good this is a beautiful thing. I'm gonna get off right here as we do not wish to go too far into what we call uh, Queens. There we go. Just a quick little split. It's a beautiful day in New York City. You gotta admit. You gotta admit. And it's days like this why uh, I don't like to winterize the bike, you know? Because sure, oftentimes it's freaking snowing and icy and gross, but days like this, motorcycle comes in handy and perfect. Ooh. I was probably supposed to take a left there. I messed up. It's okay. That truck confused me. So we'll go this way. We'll go this way. And we pop a little Yui. Come back around. And it's a beautiful thing. Right now I'm on my way to Long Island City, Queens. To, uh, I don't know, get some food or whatnot. But they look nice. They look sturdy. The construction is sturdy enough. Because when I initially uh, uh, opened these gloves up and put them on, I thought they were a little light. But, nope, yep, still on. Good. I decided to uh, throw them onto the hot setting right away. And uh, in the future, I'm also planning on doing uh, a little, uh, almost like a comparison between this set of gloves and uh, my other heated pair and it's interesting because I actually also have a heated vest and uh, as often as I uh, ride in the freezing cold heated vest is like a next next level madness wait no I'm gonna go that way oh I could have went this way that road looked cute but it's okay it's fine. Now we're in Sunnyside, Queens, baby. I forgot how much I love this little neighborhood here. I'm gonna pull ahead. I hope nobody's too upset. People probably are, but what are you gonna do, right? Here we are. I'm gonna go to the left here. Yeah, this is perfect. Mid 40s, not cold at all. Not cold at all. Here we go. There we go. What a weird intersection. No red lights, no nothing. how you can tuck tuck in your jacket you know from the elements and whatnot and they're waterproof you know the thing is when you're riding in the winter or even just in uh just even just um in the fall when it's wet and cold 
waterproof proofing is crucial but more crucial is that um, once your hands, hands get cold they don't warm up and moisture just freaking that's why oftentimes you need the heated gloves even when it's uh, just simply raining there we go sorry I don't know what's going on here Bridge. Oh boy, this traffic is thick. Sweet thickness. Good lord, bro. That's why I don't come here. It's too thick around here. Much too thick. But it is a new area. Yeah, and the beauty of these is that uh, the wire is on top. So I actually can feel it to the very tip of my finger. Huh, not bad. Come on. Folks are slow. It's a Wednesday. You know? A day before Thanksgiving. So people are just relaxing, you know? Look at this motherfuckers. There we go. We're all taking a right. That's correct. Come on. Don't be scared there, taxi cab. Gorgeous day. Yeah. First impressions? A okay. And the best part about these is that you can also use them for like all sorts of stuff like shoveling snow snowboarding you know uh things like that presuming the waterproofing is as good as they say there is but i don't see any reason why it wouldn't be nice empire state building in front of us right there Funny people hate these kind of bridges and I'm just like, what's the what's the commotion? Can we make this light, please? Yep. Yes we can. the front maybe yes it's taxi and taxi so they won't mind what the heck is that thing no idea now we just shoot it on straight that's the Kazusko bridge way do I have to go kind of want to go that way but it's all right I'm going just straight towards the water and then we'll figure it out from there at first I thought the gloves were a little uh tight maybe when I first started uh oh Jesus Christ when I first started moving, but uh, but now I feel like they're just right. Cool. Perhaps they're also going to stretch a little bit. Obviously. I 
here we are. The gorgeous Long Island City. It smells so good around here. I'm definitely getting food. I always threaten to get food, but never do. But today, I am. Oh, look at that mural. Beautiful. Beautiful little mural there. Cool, cool, cool. so nice to have days like this where you can just go for a joyride no care in the world you know love it love it brother there we are pull up to the front a little bit I'm surprised there's so much traffic in this fair part of town but it is the middle of a work day I guess Queens Bridge is all packed up as well Come on, let's go. Give me that green sugar, baby. Bruh. You got so much room, amigo. You're not that big. You're not that guy. Oh, brother. Towards Empire State. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Beautiful Domino Park. I'm going to uh, park this baby up and relax for a minute. Manhattan skyline over there. So nice. Super nice. All right, I'm actually going to turn around and. Uh, Maybe stop in the sun over there. Because a little bit of sun would be nice. Since it is technically whole winter. Right over there looks good. We'll just do that. Right by this beautiful library that they just built. This lady. It's killing me, but it's okay. She's a, a gentle soul and gentle spirit. All right. We'll stop right here. Yo. All right, boys and girls. So, what do I think about these? The verdict is out. Uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have to uh, ride with them some more, obviously. But they're comfy, they're grippy. Let's see. Yep. See, uh, they do have uh, sensitivity on the finger, so you could use your iPhone with, with them on. So that's really cool. They're still on. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will definitely bring you a, a long-term review of these after I ride with them for a little bit longer.